After disappointing in the regular Super League fixtures last year, Salford impressed in the middle eights. Here is a look to see if they can build on their performances at the back end of last year. What you need to know signings Gil Dudson, Witness Vikings, Adam Lawton, West Bank Bears ARL FC, Ken Seo, Newcastle Knights, Jansen Turgut, Hull FC, Adam Walker, return from ban. Departures Gavin Bennion, Swinton Lions, Chris Brining, released, Luke Burgess, retired, Weller Hauraki, Hull KR, Craig Kopchak, Wakefield Trinity, Ryan Lannan, Hull KR, Jack Littlejohn, released, Levy Nazungu, Hull FC, Lama Tassi, Warrington Wolves. First five Huddersfield Giants at London Broncos H Leeds Rhinos H Hull KR at St Helens H. What to expect Salford finished last season in 11th position. The club should be looking to improve on that position and at least be aiming for 8th in 2019. Being relegated shouldn't be a worry in the spine of Niall Levels, Robert Louis, Jackson Hastings and Joey Lusick. This combination could make them a dark horse this season. A player who will have a huge influence on where they will finish this season is Jackson Hastings. Firstly, there's his obvious talent. He is a former junior kangaroo and also represented New South Wales under-20s. His guidance from halfback ensured that Salford survived the middle eights last year. Hastings will also be on the look for an NRL contract and will relish facing the likes Wigan, Warrington and St Helens. The Australian halfback has made a huge difference to the club since his arrival last July off the pitch. Hastings has quickly understood that while Salford are not the best supported team in Super League, their core support live, breathe and bleed the club. He recognizes the importance of community and has bought into the ethos of the club which has brought a feel-good factor which could translate to good performances on the pitch. Keeping hold of Hastings for the 2019 was the best bit of business Salford have done for the coming season. This is closely followed by the signing of Ken Seo. The former Hull KR fan favorite was one of the best wingers in the league before he moved to Newcastle. He continued to have a decent record, scoring 12 tries in 20 appearances last year. Salford have taken a risk in adding Adam Lawton and Adam Walker to their pack. Lawton is a man mountain, standing at 6 feet 6 and could cause many defenses problems. However it has been his attitude which has been questioned at previous clubs. Walker returns from a 20-month drugs ban. He failed to make an impression at St. Helens but if he can return to the form he showed at Wakefield in the 2016 season then Salford will have a decent replacement for Craig Kopsick. Their first few fixtures will give a good indicator of what is to come for Salford in 2019. Three out of the five opening fixtures come against teams who were also in the middle eights last year. If they can get results against those teams then they should start to look at being a mid-table side. Fearless Predictions Top Try Scorer, Jake Bibby Top Point Scorer, Robert Louis Club Player of the Year, Jackson Hastings Where Will Salford Red Devils Finish?